all the credit to Whitewater. I, they, they played amazing doubles, uh, served really well, returned really well. We were under the gun the whole time on all three courts. We were down, I mean, we were down basically the whole time and we really never could get ahead. They jumped on us at great energy, big size, big guys. Um, you know, Frank does an amazing job coaching doubles. They've had so many All-Americans there in the past at Whitewater. Um, yeah, it was what it was. I mean, I was hoping that we would get one of those. <laughs> you know, we didn't get end up getting any of them. And we got, went into the singles and I just kind of thought like, what a great opportunity for us to, you know, face some adversity, which we hadn't been in a match since UAAs, which was three weeks before that. I felt like, you know, what what a great opportunity for us to face some serious heat and pressure. No, no single player could have a hiccup. We all had to step up and they needed to be able to feel that pressure as we headed to the to the quarterfinals if we were going to earn the right to get to the quarterfinals. And then to see them go out in the singles and just start the way they did, everybody just, you know, separating right from the get go. It kind of in a matter of 15 minutes just debunked the, the 33 percent um and when i say 33 percent i just mean that's a third of the score you know they won the doubles and they got a third of it uh but there were still two thirds left in our mind and that's a lot so um you know it just within 15 20 minutes it just kind of felt like all right we just snagged the momentum back um and and they they kept their foot on the gas and i was really happy for them they came out swinging pretty hard in uh, dubs. We didn't necessarily play terribly, but they definitely caught us off guard a little. Um, and they, I mean, we didn't play great dubs and we were still in two, two tiebreakers on out of three of the courts, which, um, you know, wasn't the worst. I mean, we felt very confident going into singles that we were going to be able to get the job done. Um, but the real moment when we started, at least I started to realize that things were going to go in our way, go our way, was when the first couple courts get, got the first sets, and the momentum really started to shift a lot. And we we always had the belief that we were going to be able to pull through, but it, it started really coming to light that it, we were going to be able to uh, pull it off. So that was definitely um, the biggest part where I felt the momentum started to shift in the match. It's funny. Uh, two, two in a row doesn't certainly sound like 15 in a row, like Roger Fulmer at Wash U has done. Um, you know, kudos to him. I mean, they had a really, really tough round of 16 match, and, and I just was reading the, uh, the article, and I mean, he's got 15 straight. You know, it makes me think like, all right, well, guys, we literally haven't done anything like at all yet. Um, you know, it just kind of puts things in perspective. It feels great that we're going there for the second time in a row. Uh, we get an opportunity to get right what happened last year to us. Um, but at the end of the day, we're 2-0, and and we're looking to go 3-0. and We never really get to play the NESCAC teams that often, so we're just really excited at an opportunity to play a NESCAC team. Um, that's that's for sure. Like, in Williams' experience, they were, you know, they were here last year in the quarters as well. Um, really well coached. I know that their coaches won a national championship before. Um, you know, and as I think about it out loud, I, I, I think pretty much every coach here, uh, maybe minus one or two, including myself, has won an NCAA team national title, um, or at least been an assistant coach or a player on an NCAA national championship team. Uh, so, you know, we've got our work cut out for us. I mean, what an amazing group of eight teams together. Everybody's really, really good. Um, you know, so we get to go to this tournament and try to go 3-0 and in our postseason and just keep earning the right to play more tennis. Definitely last year, um, last year's experience helps us a lot. I feel like um, now I, pretty much everybody in the team knows um, what this process looks like and what the journey over the next couple, over the next week is going to look like. Um, I think we're, we're feeling good about our where we're at as a team. Um, there's little things here and there that we can definitely still be uh, fixing up and fine tuning, but at the end of the day, um, it's how we perform on like on match day that counts now. And uh, the majority of the team, I mean, all the guys have gone through a national championship at national indoors, not NCAs, but um, so they everybody knows how it feels um, to go through this experience, and the majority knows from last year how it feels to go be on the wrong side of it. 
so I definitely think we're we're in a good position um, for next week, and I think uh, we'll be able to, if everything goes right, we'll be able to take care of business starting on Monday. One other unique thing that I thought was really interesting uh, today, uh, this interview is being done on Thursday, the 19th, I think it is today. Um, D2 quarterfinals, D1 quarterfinals, NAIA quarterfinals, all three national quarterfinals are today. And all three of our losses outside of D3 are all playing today. So Michigan plays today, Wayne State plays today, and UNOH plays today. And then Chicago, our fourth loss on the season, they'll be with us down there in Orlando. Um, you know, so as I'm looking at our whole body work throughout the year, it's like, you know, all these teams that we're playing, I mean, they're all playing for national championships and they're all, you know, kind of in the elite category of the top eight of whatever division they're in. Um, I just think we're really proud and happy to be part of that and just like really hoping that we can take advantage of this opportunity we have to do it. Um, and like I said, I mean, we just got to win another match and go 3-0 and here. And uh, to be honest, if we can win a doubles match um, against a, a top-ranked team, you know, that would probably be a victory at this point. Just one, you know, one out of the three, I, you know, we'll take it.